Okay, Doug, right now we're just kind of looking at, that is the rock right there. And this is on Stephanie's hand. And we just have it in a mock setting right now. And as we look down upon it, I mean, the first word that does not come to my mind is yellow. <laughs> it looks nice and white. That is, it is a pretty, that's jamming. Well, we're in diffuse lighting now, looking at brightness and contrast. But if we were going to see any color differences, this is where we would see them if we saw them. Uh, just going to kind of do a little zoom out a bit and give you a little bit of a bird's eye. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to make some comparisons of this alongside of the other ones we were talking about, an I, an H, and a G. See it here. All right. In this first um, macro shot here, your stone, the J is on the left, and to the right of it is a 154 ISI-1 that we also have here in the inventory. And, of course, I don't have the diamond papers out here. to see what else. But if you're going to see any nuance difference in color between the two, this is really the best lighting that you would see it in. You know, Steph, hold up the stone so that we're looking in a profile like that. Yeah. Yep. So right there, I mean, if you're going to see any color differences, that's really where you'd see it. All right. All righty. And then just kind of zoom out a little bit, give you a little bit more of a bird's eye. Okay, and then you can, if you tilt your hand up a little bit there. All right. Okay, so there's the J next to the I. Now we're going to look at the J next to the H. All righty. And now we got the 170... Uh, then we got the J on the left and the H on the right. Okay, so here are those two side by side. And this macro shot really is, I mean, this is really looking intent, the, the giving you the most intent view that we're going to see to these two stones uh, side by side with regards to color. And at the, even at the slight angle that we have them tilted in the picture on Stephanie's hand, um, too, because at a slight angle is where you would see the color most. So any nuances that you see there, that's the difference from a J to an H on the hand. Okay. Very cool. Now we're going to go to a G color next to the J. Okay, and lastly, here is um, a J next to a G on the hand against this neutral backdrop of Stephanie's hand. Stephanie makes a very pretty neutral backdrop. <laughs> but um, yeah, and we're looking at, at, a, at a nice little angle, a roughly a 45 degree angle. Um, which, which is the best angle to look at color in, in a diamond face up in a ring in diffuse lighting. This is, uh, this is the best way to possibly look at it. And yeah, of course we can see a difference there, you know. We got the carrot 71G, or carrot 72G. I forget the exact weight, but I know it's a carrot and three quarters, something G, <laughs> next, to the, um, next to the J on the left. Now, the difference between the two, I mean, you know, some people would say no, no big whoop. But here, if you, you know, if a person has super color sensitive eyes, you know, that this is the this is what the choice is. All right, but in any case, we're showing you here to the best best way possible. All righty, and uh, then I'm going to do a final shoot here and just show you kind of uh, brightness, contrast, um, and fire and sparkle elements in each one of these guys. But um, there you go, Doug, and I hope this has helped. Okay, and just using um, looking at a typical bird's eye view. This is the 172 JVS2 next to the 154 ISI1. Okay, and actually, even against this neutral backdrop, if you're going to see the difference, this is where you would see the difference. Okay, we're going to remove the I from the equation. Take this time and move it over alongside next to the H. 
So there's the two carat and three quarter H's. I mean, I'm sorry, H versus J. Now we're going to take out that one and look at it alongside the G. Okay. And there are your visual differences. We're looking at brightness and contrast, but we're also noting any faint nuances in the color between the diamonds. Okay. So, yeah, there is a, there is a slight difference, absolutely. And I think the video is doing a decent job of capturing that, at least as best as we can express it to you over the web, Doug. But um, this, even though the J does show a little bit more color, it's not uh, to the point where I would look down upon it and say, oh, my goodness, look at that yellow diamond. <laughs> but that's up for you to decide. We just want you to have total peace of mind with what you're getting. All right, I'm going to bring these into spotlighting and let you look at fire and sparkle also. Okay. This is a lighting where it's going to be virtually impossible to tell color differences, but whammo, look at the fire and sparkle on these guys. This is the J, this is the carrot 54i. There's the I next to the H, and the H next to the G. All beauties, all beauties. And then uh, just before we pull this off, turn on my little sparkle filter lens thing. Swing, swing. Look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, Doug. Hope that's helped. Thank you.